Okay, so welcome to the enhancing clinical practice and outcome stream of SNOMED CT Expo 2022. My name is Yongshen Gao. I'm moderating uh, uh, this uh, session. All questions will be answered at the conclusion of the presentation. Uh, online attendees, please put your questions in the QA box. And uh, so the audience here, uh, if you have questions at the end of the session, uh, please uh, use a microphone so pe other people can hear as well. I'm now pleased to introduce Vando Oliver from the Nursing School of Porto, uh, who will be presenting cross mapping the self care feeding of Portuguese, Portuguese nursing ontology with the CT. Vando, please proceed. Thank you. Hello. Um... My name is Fernando Oliveira. I'm from uh, Porto Nursing School or Nursing School of Porto, as you can uh, say. I'm a member of the ICN Accredited Center for Information Systems and ICN Research and Development. And I'm here to share with you the results that the project that we finish, uh, calling the cross mapping the Portuguese nursing ontology with SNOMED CT. When I send the abstract, we didn't finish yet. So at that time, we're talking about self-care feeding. But at this moment, we already finished. So I will present all the results. Sorry. It's OK. It's, a, it's a, in my laptop. <laughs> so that's OK. Well. This is where I live in Porto. Some pictures I believe you already see in tourism. The first one in the top is where is located our nursing school, Porto. It's distance from Lisbon around 300 kilometers, not so far. So if you want, you can meet there. Me. So electronic health records, it's new for us. No, it's not. We are already coming this since 1996. So the question is what we learned in the past 25 years. Much poor. Let's see. The first um, work, 1996, by Bell Paiva. Maybe someone of us knew it. When he working with nurses, analyze the free text, and then they define a set of nursing interventions and the set of nursing diagnosis using the ICNP alpha version. We were in 1996. So a few years later, in 2001, he defined a set of a huge nursing diag diagnosis and nursing interventions and develop and implement a electronic health records nursing model calling a system SAPE. It's a support system for nursing practice. With no paper, everything is record in the system, allowing also the free text. So both of the two combinations are possible. The statements from the ICNP, as well the free text for complement the information. A few years later, Paulino Souza defined the first um, nursing information sharing system in real time. This, this means we can see what uh, everything is on in the patient, if the patient is in the hospital, I can see the history of the patient in the health center. And if the patient is in health care, I can see all the history in the hospitals. At this moment, we have a system that we call share information to all nurses can um, go to the process of the patient and see everything with nurses. A few years later, Philippe defined the first minimal data set. So over these years, till 2014, 
we have more than 90 hospitals using that system that I talked uh, be before in public hospitals, as well, more than 300 health centers using that system. So the question is, everything was perfect. No, it wasn't. Why? Because in these hospitals and in the primary health centers, the customization were local. Each team has the opportunity to customize the system. In 2014, we look and we say, what's going on? Many ways to say the same thing. So we analyze, analyze, and analyze. And we define a national unique parameterization. Since 2015, the unique parameterization is on the back end of this, the system. In any place, in public, any place, all of this nurses, all of nurses record on the same way and say the same things on the same way. In 19, sorry, in 2019, we defined the first ontology, nursing ontology in Portugal. The first uh, nursing ontology was approved by the um, Ordem dos Enfermeiros, that's how we call in Portugal, Portuguese Nurses Association. And also we built an online platform for an all nurses and all our students using the Portuguese nursing ontology running in backup in sorry in back end of the system at this moment we are, we are working with a national private group for electronic health record nursing model to to define and we hope to use the nursing ontology in a few months So, ontology, what's this? Like you say, like, like you know, sorry. It's a um, relationship between concepts. And this is the most important thing, the relation between concepts. Our goal is define a kind of middle package that can run in the back end of the this, this system. Uh, vocabulary separated, split from the technical software. What is advantage are each version then that we can update it. No need to change the software. Why? Because there is the vocab vocabulary is not in the system. They run in a middle package. So any version automatically is up to date in the system. This is what nurses and our students see. In the left, that is the platform that we use in our school. In the right side, that's, that is the platform for nurses. They can go there, nav navigate in the system and see what Ordem dos Enfermeiros, the Portuguese National Association, uh, approved. Here, that's a national, sorry, in the left, we can see in English because our platform is multilingual, Portuguese and English. And we are trying to make a deal with other countries for translation for other language. So this is how we nav navigate. In green circle, they are items for assessment. The brown circle are nursing diagnosis or focus or problems. And the pink circle are the interventions. As you can see here, for each domain, we have items for assessment, nursing diagnosis, and interventions face to nursing diagnosis. And each of these statements have details. 
uh, you can see the right. For instance, we are looking the verbal response. As you can know, as you know, it depends on of the age. I can assess using the same values a child or an adult or a newborn. So the system or this platform use um, the age or other conditions to show only the right values for each person, each person, each ill person or if child. If our child, if our patient is a child <clears throat> more, sorry, less than five years, only show the right values, not show the adult values. As other terminology, there is um, the hierarchical, hierarchical relationship, but we, we have more non-hierarchical relationship. This means if I have a paresis, a facial paresis, should or not should assess the corneal reflex? I believe so. This is how we write in database. If I have a paresis in leg or arm, should or not should assess the self-care and the muscle tone? This is not in the navigation three. This is other rules. This is how, how we write. And I could, I could give more examples, but uh, I think that's enough. So we have more, we have 3,904 rules. This kind of rules that I show you. This kind of, of rules can suggest nursing diagnosis, focus interventions, ending focus interventions, and so on. Assessment items, like I said before, constraints for domains, interventions. Our rules can help nurses to take better decisions based on nursing knowledge. Till now, we already mapped the Portuguese nursing ontology to ICNP and finished in July to Snomed CT. And we are ongoing with other terminologies or classifications. In all this process, beside, we are we looking for the uh, semantic interoperability but also the technical interoperability because we want to share information between systems and we must assuring that the technical interoperability is there. So we use this reference model for nursing diagnosis and nursing interventions. Here are some examples, sorry, you can see very, very, very well. In this process, we use several principles. First, the cardinality principle. This means we look for in the ice, the SNOMED CT, the expression to map to our, our expression in SNOMED CT, one to one. It was always possible? No. Only a few were possible. Then we option, our option was use only the mean equivalence by lexical and conceptual or by synonymous. When it was not possible, we said absence of equivalence. Well, some results that I hope that I think you will waiting for these results. We split in three ways, the items for assessment and for each, the four main domains, body process, psychological process, action, and adaptation facing a life event. 
as you can see, more less than, sorry, I think a few percent one to one, around 60 or 70 percent, we must um, using more than one term of SNOMED CT to map one expression of the nursing ontology. This means a combined terms to full map it our sentence. Well, was our option. If I go to the nursing diagnosis, the, the results are similar. And the, the nursing interventions also. This means that only or less than 6% of our statements, we have 5,500 almost statements in nursing ontology. It's a huge, but uh, less than 6% one-to-one. -one. So around 70%, uh, I think, I'm not sure because I'm not see using one more than one term, but 20%, it's missing a term. Well, it's a work that we must do. In all this process, we use 100 and sorry, 1014 terms of SNOMED CT. This means one term, it was used more than one sentence in nursing ontology. For instance, knowledge, it was used for assessment item and for nursing interventions. 63% with the lexical equivalence and 35% with synonymous. But like I said, missing nine one terms to fully complete the or the mapping process. Some examples. A form of therapy, performing, meaning, and so on. We are we looking also to the main to the main top levels of the SNOMED CT. And you can see here clinical findings, observable entities and procedures was were the terms or the categories that we use in major in major number as we expected some examples one to one feeding patient no no doubt but uh, when i look to the next example readiness to enhance ability to self feeding well, there is no expression in SNOMED like this. So we combine terms to full map our expression and assuring as well the technical interoperability action and chance for. This is an example where missing a term, in this case, potential for autonomy, as well, we assure the technical interoperability. And the last example, with any mapping, organizes food for meal. So, in conclusion, most of nursing ontology can be fully mapped around 79% with SNOMED CT. However, more than 20% is missing something, a term. The majority of terms, like I said before that, too, we use for clinical findings, observable entities, and procedures. The majority of one-to-one -one mappings 
were observed in physical or in body process and in psychological process. And last, last one, that is the listed method, the readaptation facing a life is the one that we make effort to develop it because is the nursing core or, or one of the nursing core of our knowledge. This is our team. Um, we are um, Sam. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Okay, uh, Fernando now can take questions. Uh, I check, uh, no question from our online participants. So any questions in the room? Yeah. Hi, thank you for your presentation. I was just wondering what are the use cases for these mappings? Are they used for research or some other clinical implementation? Like who are the users and did you have your users in mind when you started mapping? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, like uh, I said, we use uh, a platform for our students. And uh, in, in, in pre-graduation, in our, our students, we have both uh, scenarios. In the first and second year, they use um, not real scenario, but in third and fourth years, as well in post-graduate courses, they use the real scenarios with the privacy, always assuring, assuring the per privacy. So in this case, we use the nursing ontology that are in back end of the system and the face of of this we map this to snomad ct we we begin of nursing ontology since 2019 and in these years the second process was the first the first one was mapping to icnp and second to snomad CT, but uh, it can be used virtual scenarios as well the real scenarios. And I think I also I don't know if I answered to your question. I think no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking to your face, I think no. Please rephrase your question. <laughs> yeah, I, I or okay. I was unable to explain better than this. Okay, another. Uh, hi, thanks uh, also for the presentation. I would have uh, two questions. Uh, one concerning the semantics, if you consider to use post coordination in the future. And the second one is uh, concerning the rules. Who defines the rules and based on what, on which kind of sources? Thank you. Yes, um, in the morning, um, a colleague of us um, show me the the application for the post coordination terms. Yes, but we don't we didn't know that uh, that kind of uh, application. I think a snap to Snomad. I think, yeah, we didn't use we use a database, but uh, the the goal was the same, and we have we have a database. Mm -hmm. Of equivalence between our terms and the terms of of nomad, but yes, in the future maybe we will use or transform uh, all we have in the database for the snomad to sorry snap to nomad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Second question: We use the most evidence, the most recent evidence to. Um, to build that rules. So we look to the last five, 10 articles, theses, and so on. The most recent, the evidence-based practice, and uh, based on that, we build that uh, rules. In, in 2014, by the way, when we analyze those those customization, all custom customization is always knowledge, because when we record, 
there is knowledge. But um, we, th we thought that's not enough. We want more and uh, we join the, the knowledge from practice, from knowledge from scientific articles and so on. Did I answer to your question? <laughs> Great. Okay. With that, we conclude this session. Uh, thank you, Fernando. And uh, well controlled of time. We started a bit late, but we finished on time. Thank you. Uh, online delegate uh, can join another session through the event lobby and uh, on site when you can uh, just join any session uh, in different room and 